Hi there. It's November 24th, and in our journey through the prophecies of Ezekiel, in Hebrew, Yeheskel, meaning the Lord strengthens, we come to the final two chapters, chapter 47 and 48. And this is really a culmination of Ezekiel's great vision of the restoration of Israel, of the temple, of the land. It's a visionary restoration. This isn't speaking of a historical event that has been happening. This is actually Ezekiel's vision as shown by the angelic being that leads him. And so chapter 47 is perhaps one of the most well-known, most referred to chapters, along with chapter 37 of the book of Ezekiel. And chapter 47, Ezekiel comes into the inner court and he sees that out from the threshold of the temple building is coming water. And this water is a trickle at first, but as it goes on, as it goes across the, the, the inner temple, it then goes out under the eastern gate of the, of, the, of the courts. And of course, the eastern gate is one that's kept shut. So Ezekiel has to go out of the northern gate and round to see the water coming out, continuing to flow. And this water is flowing uh, down. It's flowing down through the Judean desert, which is to the east of Jerusalem, and it's flowing down towards the Jordan Valley and the Dead Sea. And of course the Dead Sea is the lowest sea on the Earth's surface, uh, hundreds of feet below sea level, and the, the water is flowing downwards. But the thing about this water is it's sweet water, it's fresh water. And as it flows, as it flows down, there are trees growing up, and these trees are good for, uh, for um, fruit, and they're good for produce, they are, it's bringing life. And as the river hits the Dead Sea, where, where it finally flows down to the Dead Sea, it brings life. So where there has been this sea that nothing can live in, suddenly there are fish swimming in it from coast to coast, from side to side of this sea, there is life coming and trees are springing up uh, along the side. And again, they're good for fruit and good for eating, it says. So, so this is an amazing picture of fruitfulness, the returning of, uh, of, of life to Israel. Not only that, but as this life comes, oh, and by the way, there's a small area kept for salt making, because salt making was such an important industry, an important part of the life of the people of that area, that in God's provision, in God's providence, an area is kept for salt making in the Dead Sea, even when it comes back to life. But we also see here that uh, Israel is coming back. Ezekiel prophesies Israel returning. All of the tribes, not the, just the tribes of Judah, but all of the tribes are coming back. And all of the tribes are restored lands. So as we go into chapter 48, we read of how the lands are restored to each of the tribes. So with Dan and Naphtali in the north, and then coming down. Uh, the and, and what's interesting here is that the allocation of the land, in Ezekiel's understanding, is all west of the Jordan. It's it's not east of the Jordan anymore. The, the lands that used to belong to Reuben and Gad and Manasseh are no longer there. They, they all have, in this vision, they all have their lands in a ribbon, as it were, or ribbon across, in, side by side, going down from north to south through the land of Israel, but, but between the sea and the Jordan. And, uh, and in the middle of these, the 12 tribes, uh, each having their land, in the middle is a, a special reserve, a special allocation for the city of Jerusalem and also an area given over to the Levites. This is where the tribe of Levi has its has its uh, allocation um, and where the king or the, or the prince he's called here has his allocation of land and of course the city of Jerusalem is in this allocation. And then Ezekiel, as he comes towards the end of his vision, describes the city, this four square city, with 12 gates, three gates in each wall, each named after a tribe of Israel. And uh, and then he sees that the, the name of the city is going to be Adonai Shammah. The Lord is there in Hebrew. That means the Lord is going to be with his people. And uh, it's amazing to see that the, the, this is the culmination, as I say, of Ezekiel's uh, vision, of Ezekiel's insight. And, uh, and we see it's this vision of Israel coming back, of being restored, the whole land being settled. And this is the, uh, the, the vision that, that Ezekiel has to, to encourage and to see the people of Israel um, given hope after this terrible fall of Jerusalem. This also, of course, looks back. So the vision is looking back to Eden and the establishment of the garden and the establishment of the trees in the garden. So the trees on the riverside and the trees on the seaside 
uh, recall the, the trees of Eden, but it's also looking forward for us, looking forward to the revelation of John, which is coming later, which also ends with the picture of the river and the trees whose leaves are for the healing of the nations. So this Ezekiel 47 is a very key picture, even for the rest of scripture tying together the beginning and the end of the story. We, of course, know that Jesus himself has promised us living water. He's promised us the Spirit, who is the river that is flowing. And, uh, and we are seeing this, this living in the river as something that is part of the life in the kingdom. And this picture that Ezekiel has, as I say, um, presages this, the vision that John has of heaven coming to earth, of the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven. And this is what we're living for. We're living to see heaven coming to earth. We're looking to see God establishing his ways, his life, his fruitfulness in the earth where the river flows, everything flourishes. Have a very good November 24th.